Now, if you had little to any knowledge and recommendations of Valorant content in your YouTube feed, you'd probably know of this guy called Flights, who's really exposed to the public a uh, pretty cool strat called double jumping and triple jumping with rays. While some of these plays are really complex and hard to pull off, it's pretty hot easy in this three part guide which I'm going to be giving to you guys to pull off some of these plays for yourself. So to start it off, we're just going to be giving a really basic guide of what the ability is with the um, jump boosts. So, as you see on screen, it gives the explanation of what the ability does. However, there's a lot more layers onto it than just that. So to explain in basic what the um, ability can do in horizontal and vertical terms, we're going to be giving two examples of jumping late after using your bomb and jumping right on your bomb. So as you can see on screen, I am simply putting my grenade down, jumping right on my grenade and exploding the grenade and it propel me upwards in a very vertical direction. As you can see, you can use this to get on high ground and just expose yourself to the enemy. However, this is not always a play. So as you just saw on screen, I just did what is called horizontal movement. So I'm basically using my jump pad or jump boost instead of going upwards, I'm going more horizontal. So I'm using it for movement and getting to places faster. So a combination of things were used in this short segment which I just showed you to propel myself that, that much forward and I'll be breaking it down in slow motion to explain it. So as you can see on screen what I do is I throw my um, jump boost out first, I walk up to it, I jump as soon as I get over it and at the very bottom of my jump I throw, I detonate it which will pr propel me forward. The second jump boost is simply just me looking down and throwing another one and detonating it once again as fast as I can to get me that extra distance. At the end of my, um, at the end of this clip you see me doing what is called bunny hopping. So essentially as you hit the ground you press space at the same time. If you struggle to hit this at the same time then I would suggest practicing it in a custom game. Next up I'm basically going to be explaining what is called ledge hopping or ledge boosting whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure the terminology. It's essentially where you place it on the very edge of a box or container that is propelled upwards and you jump at the very um, bottom of your jump. So obviously as you see here, it is just a standing vertical jump I do at the first jump and the second jump I do is essentially where at the very um, bottom of my jump I can get some more forward momentum. This can be topped off with a bunny hop if you time it right, obviously I didn't in this clip but it's pretty easy to pull off. An example of this is in Flight's gameplay where in his triple jump, which we'll be going over later in the guides, probably going to be coming out tomorrow or the day after, after this video comes out, he does the exact same thing that we just went over, where he throws it a bit different to ours, but it's still the same concept, so don't be discouraged. The only reason I do my version is because if you drop down and there's enemies you can see, then it's gonna be you're gonna be in a really sticky situation if they catch you while you're placing your bomb. Next up, we have something I really want to tell a lot of race players that just because you see all these highlight clips doesn't mean you can pull off some of your own unique ones. As you see in here, I can use my um, horizontal and forward movement in many different ways to get me in situations which would benefit me. So don't feel discouraged if you fail it a few times, because as you see here, it's not as easy as it looks. And last but not least, just because I said that you can't use vertical movement without dying, doesn't mean it's still not useful in some double jump situations. So as you see here, I use a double jump to get on top of these boxes, which will surprise your enemy extremely. Once again, the same concept is used here to get up to these boxes, except this time you're doing it a bit more vertical, so you're not jumping right on your um, right on your mine, you're instead doing it a bit earlier. That's essentially going to wrap it up for the um, beginnings of this series. This is part one, obviously, with the very basics. So what I would like you to have done before the next episode comes out is to master these extremely basic 
mechanics and you'll need them in the um 